where even a gank is going to help him out. Bottom rune. There's going to be a skirmish here. They're looking for fly. The RP's there. He drops the tomb on the high ground. That ain't going to stop Sumail. And that's first blood. Straight to EG. Balancing things out a bit now and equalizing the net worth. Pressure from EG. It's going to allow OG to play around that. Arteezy going to get called out here. He walks into a chant totem. Called out against the point. There's the echo. Beautiful take stun. OG, pull it off. That's the kill you need. Radiant's While that's going on in the bottom lane, the Tusk got jumped. And EG will counterplay, finding their own kill, but an anti-mage for a Tusk. A trade OG will make all day. Nicole giving up these kills here really opens up the map. And the RP is there on two. The Quapo comes through and OG gets skewered into submission. A quick double. And with that, the anti-mage will soon emerge from his slumber. You don't have the best vision in that area, if you notice. And you can't just gonna go for the R blind R pull if you lose that fight. And if you blow it, maybe they high ground you, but there's a roar on the mid lane as they try to engage on a miracle available. It's just Moon's sitting down. back. Moon's waiting. He's dispenses with PPD. He could go on to Sumail here. Her skewer's back over the high ground, but Miracle's waiting. He caught him up. All 8,000 MMR. Enough to bring him down. Two dead RP available. No buybacks. There is a tier two, but anti mage. Split pushing the crap out of this game. The tier two will drop. Moon has the echo. But they're gonna need a lot of follow-up if they want to get this kill. With the Alk back, they could maybe do it. But him being back means the push on mid is not very intimidating. Yeah, they're pink. Maybe this is enough to punish him. They've got the echo, they need this one, they jump in. First stun, they've got the punch. Can they look at the damage? Call out coming through, but he's so damn tanky. Zubel again! What a save by the Wonder Kid! He pulls him out, he's got the RP, it's on two, so they have to follow up. Mana boy from the high ground! That ends the Aegis. It also takes out the Undying. Miracle. And now, round two. Can they turn? The Roar and No-Tell, the Quapo from Uni, a beautiful catch. But he jumps in, then the save from PPD. EG finessing this one beautifully and dodging everything that OG throws their way. Just incredible teamwork at a moment when a bad fight could cost them a lane. It was so important. So now he almost has the butterfly completed, and this is the item Top that you need lane. to complete They're the making bat. their jump on Universe here. He dropped the ult already. Now the Yules, the Blink is going to be available. And Chant Totem not quite right, but Crit's still there. He's got the punch. Snowball on cooldown. They get the shards off, but while that's happening, Arteezy also found a kill in the bottom lane, taking down Fly. So it's a Queen of Pain for an Undying. Definitely a win for OG in that regard. But it is more gold into an already pretty fearsome anti-mage's hands. Yeah, at some point though, he is going to have to fight against that alchemist who's circle past the river. A little cocoon for Arteezy. Yeah. Uh-oh. A top. That cocoon could hit. get punctured here in just a moment. Smacked once by the out. The stun doesn't have a manta out. either. Blink some cooldown. The manta's also not available. And he gets oh, hacked on. He does. He reveals. Miracle. He just got that MKP and he puts it right to work. Arteezy without a Manta, without a Blink. Being into the pit. The Hawk's gonna scout it. They know what's up. Do they want to bring in the AM? Is it worth the buyback? Otherwise, this Roche will die far too soon. Sumail's in position. He could go for the Blink and he could go for the RP. He could go for the Aegis. He's gonna try. Oh, he's gonna get it. He snatches it. And oh my god, he dies fast. Can they get him on round two? At least tonight it's OG. Sumail, RP, Skiro, out. Pile Man into the curse. Where's the backup? They need the AM! They need the cleave! They don't have it! Now, Curse on cooldown. RP on cooldown. Almost losing another on the way out there. They lost no heroes. I think they, they could even push down mid now. Yeah, they lost every single hero, or they didn't lose a single hero, and most importantly, they grabbed the Aegis, slowed down the high ground advantage. He's mine. They did not even manage to force out the buyback. Oh, Miracle, he's gonna run into Arteezy again! Axe out of the illusion, nothing! Nothing, Arteezy! Beat the Alchemist! They played the gold game, but Alk, this advantage that they feel they've started to accrue, they're gonna go back into a 38 minute Midas. Trade this tower's armor, do quite a bit of damage. He heals up, he moves forward again, and now the Fissure, the Echo, they found the backliners to the south, they get above! There's no buyback! There's no Wyvern! There's no Magnus! Anti-Mage can't do this alone, OG! They may have found their opening! This could be it for EG! They're gonna buy back the AM, they're gonna lose at least one Arteezy up against it now! All that help he got all game long, can he do it solo?
They don't know these buybacks aren't ready. They could be up, but OG aren't seeing them and not seeing them. They keep on going. They move on to mid. Miracle once more. He's got a fresh ult. You can't afford to lose this second set of racks. At that point, the split push becomes almost pointless as OG, they can just focus all of their attention on this bottom lane. What a story this would be, OG. Two lanes of racks. They can't get a third now because of the tier two, but the crowd begins to pull for them even more. You can hear them nice and loud in the Mesa here in Frankfurt. They get now even more damage. A completed Moonshard gobbled up by the ever-growing Miracle. Just turning into a full-blown terror here. With one fell swoop, OG have seized all momentum, all advantage, all map control, and pressure down bottom. There's a jump in from Universe, it's on the fly. Probably the least important hero to catch, but Miracle's looking to go. He tries to fight PPD, good embrace. Keeping himself alive. But if they lose one or two more heroes, this could just be the game right here, right now. There's zero buybacks up on EG. The anti-mage is forced out, nobody else having the goal. Meanwhile, four for OG. EG can't afford to lose anybody at this phase. There's Aurora and Miracle mid, but uh, can they actually kill him? They're gonna try everything for Miracle, but oh, those end up dropping. Big kill there. He has to buy back. Does he want to come in? need multiple in? kills here. Mail is RP. RTZ hunting Moon. The creeps aren't really pushing in. This is a great moment for EG to find those cleanups. Three down. No buybacks. OG content to let the kills happen. They know the lanes are going their way, and immediately a calm reaction from Crit as a push in bottom. Throw three here. OG are smoked. This could get ugly for No-Tail. He's down in an awkward position. That initial board slow comes out. The Roar's there to follow up. Are they going to commit a curse for this as well? There's the snowball save. Crit's looking to turn it. Miracle runs in. He gets the stun up here. But he's used up. He's kept out of the fight. Arteez, he's going to try to lock him down. The Echo, though. It's Arteez Sumail. is dying so fast. And it's Sumail on the charge. Through it. Arteez, he gets chopped up. He's down for the count. No buyback for 100. Universe could be next. GG. Oh, gee. The green tree. The green dream prevails, they send the boys in blue packing, and they have a date with Team Secret in the best of five Frankfurt Major Grand Finals. This is the most unlikely lower bracket run in the history of Dota 2. This is so absurd, the amount of times they had their backs pressed against the wall, one game away from elimination against Ehome, against Fnatic, they've done it again against EG. Unbelievable. Words can't describe this run. It is something the likes of